Hello everyone. Welcome back in my accountancy class for second year commerce. So in our last classes, that is earlier two classes, <coughs> we have solved two questions, two actually some of the questions from our income and expenditure related questions like calculation of subscription income okay for calculation of subscription income for an accounting year by the non trading organization as subscription is the one of the main source of income for non trading organization so whenever they receive the subscription they are not receiving the money for that current accounting year okay because there are some members who are not paid the amount in previous year are some of the members that paid the amount in the current year for the future year okay so as income and expenditure account is prepared under accrual basis of accounting accrual basis of accounting means the accounting uh, where um, all the expenses paid all the expenses paid or needs to be payment and all the incomes earned but not received okay so we have to take it into account okay so as receipts and payment account is prepared under cash basis of accounting that means all the cash receipts and cash payments are recorded in receipts and payment account but in income and expenditure account all the cash payments made and the payments which are for the current accounting year so and the incomes for which they have earned or incomes which they are they have earned but not received also taken into income and expenditure account okay so similarly we have calculated the calculation of subscription income for non trading organization because in case of subscription that means subscription received during the year it is not the amount for the current accounting year okay because i have already told you that in in that amount there is inclusion of amount for the previous year and inclusion of amount for the future year so we have to deduct both the amount and add some items in order to find the current your subscription income for current accounting year okay so similarly as it is a income there are some payment for the non trading organization um, like salary okay so whenever they have paid salary that does not define that the salary paid amount is for fully for the current accounting year it may include the amount which they have not paid in the previous year and there may be the pay, uh, payment of salary for future year okay so similarly we have to calculate the amount of salary paid by the non trading organization during an accounting year so in today's class our topic is calculation of salary paid by the non trading organization during an accounting year okay and the calculation and the format for calculation is similar to the um, similar that we have done in subscription income calculation okay so let's start so our solution that is our first class on calculation of salary paid by the non trading organization and um, as i am telling you it is similar to the um, calculation of subscription income so you have to memorize all the topics all the add items and all the less items that we have done in our um, subscription income so let's start by one question okay from the from the following details from the following details calculate calculate the amount of salary calculate the amount of salary calculate the amount of salary which will be debited which will be debited why it is debited because income and expenditure account is like expenditure is in left side that is debit side and income is in credit side that is right side okay as salary is a payment for the non trading organization so it will be in debit side so we have to find the calculation of amount of salary which will be debited to income and expenditure account during an accounting year income and expenditure account debited to income and expenditure account income and expenditure account 
for the year ended for the year 2010 okay so next there is some information first one is left side i will write the date january 1 2010 okay so s 2010 is our current accounting year but that does not give any information they don't have give any information regarding the starting date of the year like 1st january or 31st march but in the first information they have given the january 1 2010 that is salary outstanding so we can say that the year is starting from um, january 1 salary outstanding salary outstanding rupees 1 to 00 okay next december 31st so now it is fully clear that our accounting year the accounting year for that non trading organization started from 1st january to 31st december prepaid salary prepaid salary and the amount is 1000 next december 31 2010 is salary paid salary paid during the year salary paid during the year rupees 30200 okay so this is the amount of salary they have paid by the non trading organization during the year 2010 okay so it is the total amount of salary they have paid so i cannot say that it is the fully amount for that current accounting year because i have told you them that this amount may includes the salary for the previous year accounting year and this uh, amount may includes the amount which will be paid by the non trading organization in advance for the next financial year so this is the amount of actual amount they have paid by the non trading organization as salary but it is not the total amount of salary for the current accounting year we have to add some items and we have to less some item from that amount then we will get the total amount of salary paid by the non trading organization during the year 2000 okay next information is salary for december 2010 salary for december 2010 not paid not paid rupees 2000 okay so this is the question so you should okay you should note that question okay so i am dictating the question from the following details calculate the amount of salary which will be debited to income and expenditure account as salary is a expenditure for the non trading organization so whenever we will prepare income and expenditure account our left side of the account is income your expenditure side and the right side of the income account is income side okay that is similar to our profit and loss account and left side is debit side and right side is credit side as salary is a payment for the non trading organization so it will be in the debit side of the non income and expenditure account so they have given us um, some information from which we have to calculate the amount the actual amount of salary paid by the non trading organization during the year 2010 which will be debited to income and expenditure account so what is the first information january 1 2010 okay and below that there is 31 december 2010 okay so if our current accounting year is 2010 if our current accounting year is 2010 then it is the beginning date and it is the ending date okay so, so we are clear that our accounting year started from 1st january 2010 to 31st december 2010 okay so what is the first item salary outstanding okay so now look in this information it is the january 1 2010 that means beginning date at the beginning date they have outstanding salary rupees 1200 okay so now is it the amount of salary for the current accounting year no because as it is outstanding on the beginning date okay as it is the outstanding amount in the beginning date we can say that it is also the outstanding on december 31st 
31, 2009. Okay, because December 31, 2009 is the ending date, and after that day, that is the January 1, 2010, is the new accounting year for the next financial year. Okay, so if in the beginning there is an outstanding salary, that means that this is the amount which they have not paid by the non-trading organization in the previous year. Okay, so it is not the payment for the current accounting year. It is the amount of the payment for the um, previous accounting year. So we have to deduct this item because this amount of outstanding salary is in the beginning date. That does not means that it is the outstanding salary for the current accounting year. It is the outstanding salary for the previous accounting year. So we have to deduct that amount. Next, December thirty first, two thousand ten, prepaid salary. Okay, so at the end of the year, at the last date of the year, they have paid advance. Okay, so now you tell me that if I any if I pay any amount at the end of the year to any person as salary, that means it is the salary for the next financial year. Okay, because if I have to pay the amount as prepaid salary for the current accounting year, then I will pay at the beginning of the year or either at the middle of the year. But I have paid that amount prepaid salary, that means advance salary on 31st December 2010. That means after closing the current accounting year. So it is not the payment for the current accounting year. It is the payment for the future accounting year. So we have to we have to do deduction from the total. Salary paid, okay? Because it is the in payment for the next financial year. Next is the total amount of salary paid during the year. In the previous question, that is total amount we need first item that is amount of subscription received by the non-trading organization. And in that question, we need amount of salary paid by the non-trading organization during the current accounting year. So in that question, we find they have paid total thirty thousand two hundred, and we have to less. We have to deduct this both item. Okay, and next one is the salary for December two thousand ten not paid rupees two thousand. Okay, so salary for December two thousand ten. Okay, so if our two thousand ten started in January, okay, then February, then March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That means twelve months. Okay, so there is a information that salary for December two thousand ten not paid rupees two thousand. That means before. Before December, that means up to November, they have paid full salary, and in December they have not paid the December's salary. So it is the payment for the current accounting year, but they have not paid. They will pay it in the next accounting year or after that accounting year. But it is the payment for 2010 because it is the payment related to December 2010. That means current accounting year. Okay, so they have to. Add that item because it is the payment for the current accounting year. So both this term will be deducted and the, this term will be added. Okay, then we will find the total amount of salary payment for the um, total amount of salary expenses for the non-trading organization. Okay, so let's start our solution. Similar to calculation of subscription income, the format is same. In the top, we have to write in the books of in the books of dot dot. Below that, we write calculation of salary paid during two thousand ten. Okay, first. Particulars, then amount, then amount. Okay. So, what we need first? We first need to start our solution. The first we need the what is the maximum actual amount of payment by the non-trading organization as salary during the year. So, in our third information, we find salary paid during the year. So, first we start by salary paid during the year. Salary paid during the year. The amount is thirty thousand two hundred. It is in the final column. Okay. 
next we add some items and then less so what is the first item the first item is salary outstanding as on 1 1 2010 so if our current accounting year is 2010 then its opening date is 1 1 2010 in our question that is given 1 1 2010 is the opening date and 31st december is the closing date okay so salary outstanding on 1 1 2010 that means it is the outstanding amount not for the current accounting year okay that means they have not paid certain amount in 2009 which is carried forward in 2010 so it is the expenses for the Mm, previous accounting year so it is not the expenses for the current accounting year so i have to less that item or i have to deduct that item salary outstanding salary outstanding as on 1 1 2010 because it is the beginning date so in beginning date if any any amount is outstanding so it is not the outstanding for the current accounting year it is the outstanding for the previous accounting year so remember if any amount is outstanding at the beginning of the year it does not mean it is the outstanding for the current accounting year it is the previous accounting year and if any amount is outstanding at the end of the year it means that it is the outstanding amount for the current accounting year so in the beginning we have to less and at the end we have to add next prepaid salary on 31st december 2010 so prepaid salary means advanced salary so if the amount is paid on 31st december 2010 so at the end of the at the last date of the year 2010 so after 2010 that means on 31st december the year 2010 is closed and at the at that date they have paid prepaid salary so it is the amount for the next financial year so next future year so it is not the payment for the current accounting year so i have to less that item too salary prepaid salary prepaid salary as on 31st december 2010 okay so the amount is 1000 and the previous one's amount is 1200 okay and then what is the next item next item is salary for december 2010 okay so current accounting year is to december 2010 and it started on january 1 and closed on 31st december 2010 so up to november they have paid full salary but in december they have not paid so salary paid not for december 2010 amounted to rupees 2000 that means in december the total amount of salary for the non-trading organization is rupees 2000 which will not which have not paid by the non-trading organization so it is the outstanding amount for the current accounting year so we have to add that item salary not paid for december 2010 okay so we have put up all the information for that question now we have to do the calculation so first one is added 2000 13 2200 then 2200 less the amount is 30000 okay so now i can say that the total amount of salary paid by the non-trading organization is amounted to rupees 30000 so in income and expenditure account they will pay uh, they will put the total amount of salary paid by the non-trading organization is rupees 30000 so hence that we will write salary debited to income and expenditure account for the year 2010 okay so this is the solution and it is a simple type question because same similar type of question we have solved for subscription income so it's my i am giving you the advice that please find some question like this on your book and try to solve it okay and if any query any confusion then you can call me or contact me and in our next class we will start another question so that is income and expenditure account as we have cleared the two important terms that is one is subscription and another is um, 
salary okay because most of the adjustment from income and expenditure account is related to either subscription or salary so we have called, we have solved it separately and uh, so in our next class we will start our income and expenditure account okay so till then stay safe and try to do some questions regarding this okay so thank you